I've got great news for you. We can now insert images inside an Excel cell, which means we can easily do a lookup on images, which also means we can easily create more professional looking Excel dashboards. Here's how it works. Okay, so first of all, heads up, as I was preparing to record for this, I was testing something which I was pretty sure is not gonna work, but then it worked. So make sure you stay for that. But first of all, let me just take you through the setup I have here. We're gonna see how we can insert an image in a cell and how we can return an image via formulas. So I have a list of managers, the project they're working on and their picture. I've already inserted these in the cell. As you can see, the picture size is gonna depend on the size of the cell. Now you can always pop out an image from the cell by using the shortcut key, Control Shift F5, and you get to see a bigger version of it. You can also right mouse click and show image details. So this is perfect for products or parts, something that you wanna get a better view of. Now let's take a look at how we can insert these images in cells. So let's say I wanna add more pictures for the next managers. I'm gonna to go to insert pictures and we get to see this new option called place in cell. So before we only had a choice between these three, now we have place in cell and we can select between this device or online pictures. I'm gonna go with this device. So let's say I wanna insert all of these pictures at once. I'm gonna select them while I hold down control. So let's say it's just Christina, who looks like a Tom. I'm gonna to go with him, hold down control, select the picture then Alex, then Robert, and I'll go with Crystal as her and click on insert, and I get them all inserted at once. Okay, so let's increase the cell size so we can see the pictures better. I'll just select these and make it a bit bigger. Can we now convert this into an official Excel table? Let's give it a try. Control T, the table has headers. We have a table. Let's remove the design and go back to our own nicer design. I'll give this a name and call it managers. So now let's go ahead and do a lookup to find all the managers together with their pictures that work on the upside down project. Because we have more than one manager working on this project, we are gonna need a lookup function that can return multiple results. And you probably know what that is, right? It is the filter function. The array is what we want returned. We want a list of their names together with their pictures. So I'm gonna select both of these. What do we wanna include? Anyone that works on the project, which equals the upside down project. That's it, close the bracket, press enter, and we get a list of managers together with their pictures. The pictures spill as well. How cool is that? Now, what if we expand the table and add someone new to this? So let's say um, Layla decides to join the project. I wanna insert a picture. Let's go and try out the online version as well. So place in cell, I'm gonna go with online pictures. Let's just see what we get. If Bing has a picture, I'll just remove Creative Commons. And yeah, let's go with this one, insert it. And I'm also a part of the upside down project. Do I show up in the list? I automatically, of course, show up because these are spilled formulas that are referencing a table. Let's switch out the project to the Wheeler squad and see who's working on this. We automatically get the list of managers working on the cool Wheeler squad project. So now I'm going to show you the part that really surprised me. We can look up an image and return the other surrounding information. So take a look at this. If I copy one of these, so let's take Mike, and I have his image, but I don't know what his name is. I can look it up. I'll use the XLOOKUP function. My lookup value is my image. My lookup array is where the image is, which is in this column. What I want returned is his name. I'm gonna close the bracket, press enter, and I get his name. How cool is that? I didn't think this was possible because if I'm inside the cell, look at what you see in the formula bar. It just says picture. I didn't think that it would be able to distinguish what the picture is. We can test it. Let's just copy this picture, replace it with this one, and we get Paul Hill returned. 
So not only can we return pictures in a lookup formula, we can actually use them as our lookup value. If I want to expand on this, let's say I want to also add the project that Paul is working on, I can just expand on the formula. I'm going to put an and here. Let's just add a dash and we want the project column as well. So now we get Paul Wheeler. He's working on the Wheeler squad. Let's go with her, Corina. I'm going to copy and paste her in. We have Corina Schmidt working on the upside down project. Now keep in mind, because this is a brand new feature that's just being released to insiders, there are parts of this feature that are not working properly yet. But I'm super excited about the parts that are. Okay, so that wraps up our tutorial on how you can insert images in Excel and how you can further use these in your report. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet and I'll catch you in the next video.